Hello everyone. What I wanted to do in this video is walk you through a new feature of Fusion 360, but also uh, use that feature in a very um, important manner, I would say, in, the term, in terms of building an Arch Acoustic Guitar and something that must be done in order to fit the neck of the guitar to the top uh, surface or to the top plate, in this case, of the guitar. So this is a great feature that was just introduced in the latest update. It's a feature that allows you to actually edit components while you are in an assembly. It's a feature that other modelers like SolidWorks had for a very long time. And I'm really glad to see that Autodesk uh, listened to a lot of the folks out there and have introduced this feature. Now, with that said, in order for you to take advantage of this feature is you got to go into your settings here, preferences. And under preferences, if you scroll all the way to the bottom where you see this preview features item, uh, you have to and check this box here, uh, which is called edit in place. And this is really the feature that we are going to talk about. So having myself enable that feature, one important aspect of building an arched up guitar, and uh, I have my arched up uh, model here. I've done some changes why you see some of the icons here. I have to update them, but I'm going to take away the sides. I'm going to take away the bottom. And really what I'm going to leave up here is just the top plate and the neck. And if I take away the top plate, you'll see that the way we build the neck, uh, whether you do it on a CNC machine or whether you do it by hand, uh, I, again, I, I go according to Bob Benedetto, both his instructions as well as his plans, is you have to create the so-called neck extension. And this is basically an extension, as you can see here. It's a piece of wood that gets bolted onto the neck. It gets glued here, which is the piece that as the neck mates with the body, this is the piece that goes over the top. And if we bring the top up again here, you will see that in order for that to happen, this extension needs to be sanded, cut. In other words, needs to be made in a way to conform to the complex shape of the top. You can see here it's a little, um, it, it's cut differently. It, it sort of like angles down to conform and contour to the top. And this could be a somewhat tedious process. Uh, if you watch some of Bob Benedetto's instructions, you'll see that you can use carbon paper under this piece of wood and see where the high spots are and really try to, with chisels and sandpaper and etc., conform it to the top. Well, how about if we actually created this neck extension, but before we glued it to the neck, we actually cut it in a manner that the CNC machine can do all the hard work for us. But in order to do that, we have to know how the top actually curves and bends and all these things that I've mentioned. But that's also the case because we do know that if we are now actually also seeing, uh, putting on a CNC machine this top, because it's a top that we created in a model, it would conform. So what I wanted to show you here in this video is how I can use this new edit in place feature to actually cut this extension in a manner that will allow us to CNC machine it perfectly to conform with the top. And let me show you the process of that. So as you can see here, I had all these other different components. I basically hid them. So the only component that I have left up here, and I can actually go on ahead and hide the fretboard if you want as well. We don't need it, including the inlays. And we can just see the raw neck. So what I can do now is I can mouse over this neck model that I have. And you see this little pencil icon that comes up. I click on it. And it allows me to now edit this part, if you will, in place. And as you can see up here, we get an indication that I'm now editing this in place. And when I'm done editing, I will just hit this check mark to actually take those changes that I've made and apply them to the model. And guess what I'm going to do? I am going to modify and I'm going to split this body, namely this neck, 
And guess what my splitting tool is going to be? The top surface of the guitar. Just like that. I'm going to hit OK. Now this is going to take a couple of seconds here, but you can see that process was completed. I'm going to go on ahead and exit here. Or, before I exit, actually, because I'm already editing the neck, I can go back here. Notice that I now am capable of changing all of these parameters. I can hide the origin. I don't need the top anymore. I'm just going to bring it up with the neck. So again, think of it, think of this editing place as if I opened this neck model alone and I'm doing changes to it. This is what makes this editing place powerful. So as you can see here, because I performed this cut body operation, how this was actually cut. In fact, if I go into my bodies, you'll see that I actually now have two different bodies where before there was one. So I can go hide that part. Look at that. If you look in there, this top piece here completely conforms to the part. Well, I'll tell you what. Do we need this other piece here? No. So what I can do is I can now just model exactly in the manner that I've been modeling before. I can take a plane here or I can just simply create a sketch right on this face. Create sketch. And I can go create geometry that will allow me to cut away the pieces I, don't, I do not need. So I can go create a line. Go like so. Made it down here. Like that. Zoom in and out as needed to get it accurately. And I'm just going to draw a box around this piece that I do not need. So I can then just go and extrude it, but extrude a cut to take it away. Okay. We can go on ahead and finish this sketch. Notice that this entire process it's happening in this editing place feature. So now that we have that sketch, I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit extrude. I'm going to make sure I select that sketch and notice how the whole thing is highlighted. I'm going to cut with it. I can cut in both directions, but I can actually, because it was on that surface, I can do that. We'll see how that will come out. Go to the right again. And guys, just like that, let me just try to reorient this for, for us. You have created a bottom surface to this extension that will completely conform with the top of the guitar. Now, you can actually put exactly this piece of wood onto your CNC machine cut it not only in size in this manner, but then actually tell the CNC machine to surface this top. So that once you glue it back on the neck as an extension here, it will completely conform to the body. So we can actually go on ahead and say, okay, because we finished this edit in place, this model is now modified. And let's go bring up our other components here. And guys, just like that, we have completely cut the neck extension here to completely conform with the top of the guitar. In fact, if we go and take a section analysis, you can actually see it right there. Look how com perfectly that conforms to the top. It doesn't extend down, doesn't extend below. It perfectly conforms to the top. Now, when you're actually machining this, you probably might want to leave it just a little bit proud so you can do some final sanding, especially if you do some final sanding to the top and you need to adjust it. You know, you can always take wood away. You cannot edit, so always make it a little proud of what you're trying to achieve, but you can let the CNC machine 
do the work for you without having to go through all the trial and tribulations of conforming this neck extension to the top plate. Okay, just wanted to put this thing together as I saw this feature come out in Fusion 360. It hit me right away that I can use it for things like this. And as you assemble other models together, you can see how powerful this feature can be because you are now um, manipulating and changing a part in your model, but not changing it basically just looking at it individually, but changing, changing it while it's assembled with other pieces. And it's a very, very powerful feature, uh, one that I'm really, really glad that uh, uh, Autodesk decided to include in Fusion 360. Hope you um, find this useful. Uh, please let me know if I can answer any questions. Thank you.